Hi guys, it's Miss M and I'm back with another video for this week. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Okay, for this project, these are all the materials that we're going to be needing. We're we going to be needing crowns. I just have a very basic 24 pack of crowns. I feel like most of us get this in our school supply box. A piece of paper and a black marker, or we can even use the black crayon. And for this project, we are going to be doing portrait. So this is just a very plain piece of paper. So this is like the normal dimensions of a paper. So it's usually 11 by 8. As you can see, it's already folded. For this, I think it's best for us to fold it hamburger style. And then you guys can cut it or make lines and rip it in half. So we're wanting half a sheet a piece of paper you could do a big sheet if you want but it's a lot to color if we do a whole sheet okay so i'm going to go ahead and get started so here i have my crowns and right now what we're going to be doing is separating our crowns into our primary colors secondary and tertiary and I'll explain more in just a minute. So our primary colors should be, we want to look for red, yellow, and if I can find it, blue. These are our primary colors. So we need to find those. And next we need to find our secondary colors, which are green, violet, or purple, and orange. orange. Those are our primaries. And these are secondary. And our thresheraries, it's a very hard word to say, thresherary, should be yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, Blue, violet, and there's six tertiary colors. So I need two more. Also, red, violet, and the last one I need is red, orange. There you go. So real quick, I'm just gonna go over our basic color row and how we make all our colors. Our primary colors are, like I said before, yellow, red, and blue. So our dairy colors. This is just which colors to make other colors. And our thresheries. So yellow, orange goes in between these. And the thresheries will say the primaries and secondary colors you just put them in between. Violet. There you go. And that's just a quick and easy little color wheel that we can do. Because these are colors that we're going to be using today. And again, we're going to want to separate our thresheraries and our primaries. So you guys can go ahead and go back and set them up. And here real quick, I'm just going to go over our complementary colors. Our complementary colors are red and green. Yellow and purple, and blue and orange. Of course, like I said before, we are going to be doing this project portrait style. And off the side, I do have my crown separated into our primaries, secondaries, and tertiary colors. And of course, throughout this video, I'm going to show us how we're going to go from this to this, and ultimately, to this. Oh, if I can move this. Okay, first thing I'm going to be starting off with is my pencil. I'm going to start with, by drawing our vases. I'm going to be drawing a little bit darker, but I want you guys to draw as light as you can. Probably not too light, but 
probably a little lighter than what I'm doing. Okay, you guys can see that I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit to make sure that we're able to see exactly what I am doing. We're gonna start off with a small little flat O. Go straight down, straight down on the other side. And even on both sides. We're going to curve out, curve out again. And right here, we're going to do a big V. And from that big V, that point that we have right here, we're going to go straight up. We're going to give the illusion that our base is curvy, but square at the same time. And for the next one, it doesn't really matter where you place these. You can place it up high or place it down low. For the next one, zoom in just a little here. I'm going to do it like it's a little bit further back. So I'm going to do, let me see. So I'm going to do a bigger flat circle. And then from the edges, I'm going to go down, angled. And then we're going to swerve. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So I want out like a little U right here, or C's down to a little point. Right here, I'm going to do another flat circle that connects to these lines. We're also gonna be doing some flowers inside our vase. You can do it in either one. I'm gonna be doing it in this one. Just draw my stems where I want them. Draw one right here. And the flowers, I'm just turning mine upside down so it's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. But our flowers will be shaped like almonds. So this is how we could do our flowers. You can either have it pointy next to it or you can even have it round. And I'll show you how I do my other one. These flowers might be smaller. Almond, little point. Almond, little point. I'll do another one. Almond, pointy, around. And with our stems, we'll draw two lines into them. Maybe just one more. Right here. Almond point, almond point. And you can draw your flowers however you want. You can draw as many as you want. And like I said before, you can draw your vases bigger, smaller. That's up to you. Okay. The next thing that we're going to be doing is outlining our flowers. Just zoom in here. And when we and the first thing that we do want to do after we're done drawing our pencil drawing is outline our flowers. Leave a little space. And it's okay if you don't outline it perfectly. And like I'm saying, your flowers don't have to look like mine. You can draw them bigger. Or you can draw different flowers. These ones right here. These are just little tulips. I love tulips. Uh, it's not perfect. That's no, okay. Okay. Oops. Sorry guys, I had to start over real quick. My other marker kind of went all over the place. So like I was saying before, we're going to start our contour lines. So as long as our lines are not touching anything, they're going to be straight. But as soon as we hit the surface of something, I'm going to curve it a little bit more, it will become 
to take its shape. So for this space, it's mostly going to be round. But for this, it's mostly going to be square and round. Draw my line. And now since our drawing is done, here's the fun part, we get to color. Our flowers, you can color any color. So if you want to color those first, color them any color you want. But for our vases and background, we have choices. You can either color your background with complementary colors or vice versa. So anything will really go. Try coloring one or the other complementary colors or primary, secondaries, or tertiary colors. So like on this one, my vase was tertiary. I kind of made it look like I had a tabletop, so I made this part secondary colors, this top part primary colors. And this vase right here, I just colored with some complementary colors. And of course here, this is also optional before we start, you can erase your lines. And here, this is just me starting on my vase. The first vase that I colored, I colored with our Threshuary colors. So I'm just coloring that in. Next, I add a couple of lines to define it a little bit more. I was going to do our secondary colors, but I accidentally added blue, but that's okay. So this is me just coloring in this vase with secondary colors and I make sure that I don't get out of my vase lines so if you want to erase you can if not you don't have to so it's easier to see the separation between the vases and the background and of course I said for the flowers you can color any color you want I colored mine yellow and pink and then for the bottom half to make it look like a table I colored it with some complementary colors and then for the rest of the background, I just colored it in with my primary colors. And here, this is just me showing that I'm not trying to color in between the lines. And as you can see, my lines also with the marker don't go in between the flowers. Okay, so this is it. Hope you guys send these to your teacher so I can also see them because I'm going to be really excited to see them. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!